tonight, I'm gonna make a warm salad with a bacon vinaigrette. So we're gonna use the Swiss chard, spinach, some sorrel, and some leftover miner's lettuce. And then the rapini, I'm gonna make a frittata with this. I'm gonna use the bacon once it's crispy in the frittata. I'm gonna put onion in the frittata, and I'm also gonna shave some onion for the warm salad. I like cheese in my frittata. You don't have to use cheese at all, you don't have to use bacon. Cooking isn't about what you can or can't do, it's about what you want. So this is the rapini. Once I wash this, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna chop it all up so it's in smaller pieces before I saute it for the frittata. Olive oil will keep the butter from burning so you don't get that burnt flavor from the butter. Everything's melted and it's warm, we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of garlic. Just when you start to smell the garlic, it's perfectly ready for the next ingredient. And I'm not gonna really cook these onions down all that much because again, they're gonna go into the oven. So it looks like a lot, but in about two minutes, it's gonna cook down and it's gonna be amazing. And to help with the process, for it to break down, we'll put the lid on it to get the steam trap. So they've already cooked down quite a bit. For something this size, we'll do uh, six or eight eggs. And add some cream to it, help lighten it up a little bit. A couple pinches of pepper, and then we'll whisk it all up. You doing a hot dog dance? Dance! Yay! Hi! My little helper. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bacon to it. You don't wanna start eggs in a cold pan ever. Because then as the pan heats up in different areas, it'll start to stick. A lot of people get intimidated because it's runny on the top and it's cooked through on the bottom. The way to deal with that is just pull the sides down and move the egg around on the bottom. So it's like a scrambled egg, but it will set up when we put it in the oven. Keep moving that around until the majority of that stuff sets up. It's still a little bit jiggly in the middle, which is fine. And then the top isn't runny anymore. So that's about the right time to put it in the oven. So now I'll take some of that raw milk cheddar that we shredded up, I'll put that on the top, kind of like a pizza. And then right into the, the 350 degree oven. I like to save the stems for greens, cut right above the rubber band. So now when I put these back in to the refrigerator, they stay together and they're not strewn all over the fridge. So the vinaigrette is pretty simple. Straightforward, it's the bacon fat, fresh thyme that I just chopped up, a little pinch of pepper, salt, and I have some citrus champagne vinegar. You could use red wine, you could use white vinegar, but you definitely need the acid for this. And we'll just start to drizzle in the bacon fat. So I want the onions to have a little crunch on them. I don't really want to cook them down so they're soft. So I'll take it off the heat, and I'll add some minor lettuce some sorrel. So we'll put that back on the heat. Again, we're not trying to cook them down so that they're mush. You want it to be like a salad, but like I said, it's just gonna be warm through. So that's done. And then we just take it off the heat. Keep it in the bowl, toss it a little bit. You can see that the eggs have pulled away from the side of the pan. It's starting to get brown on the side right here. So I just slide right out of the pan nice and easy just like that. It has that nice brown kind of crust to it so it'll hold together nicely. Cut it up like a pizza into individual slices. Put it on the plate with a little a little bit of the mixed green salad and we'll be good to go for there. Rapini frittata, warm mixed salad with a bacon vinaigrette. Nummy nummy. Nummy nummy. Yeah, it's good. Daddy did a good job, huh? Can you say yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs>